When something breaks on the International Space Station, there is no repairman to call. So today, two astronauts suited up for the second time this week to complete the job of fixing a critical cooling system. A pump broke earlier this month, and today's mission was to swap it out with a new one. Bill Whitaker has the story. Traveling almost 18,000 miles per hour, 260 miles above the Earth, astronauts Mike Hopkins and Rick Mastracchio stepped outside the International Space Station to make the urgent repairs to the cooling system. Mike Hopkins taking a special sleigh ride on this Christmas Eve, holding the 780-pound pump module. Teetering on the end of the space station's arm, they installed the refrigerator-sized pump. It took more than seven hours. It was difficult and dazzling. Bill Harwood is CBS News space consultant. Working in these big, cumbersome spacesuits is not easy. It's almost like you're wearing multi-layer clothes in the wintertime, so much so that it's hard to move. We do have snow coming out. While connecting one hose, the astronauts' suits were sprayed with ammonia ice crystals. Ammonia is used in the cooling system. To keep the noxious chemicals out of the station, they had to stay out long enough for it to evaporate in the sun. We do not want to bring ammonia back inside the ship. Retired Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield took two walks outside the space station. The environment in space is harsher than most people think. In the shade, it's minus a couple hundred degrees. In the sun, it's plus 300 degrees. So we don't go outside unless there's a good reason. With the cooling system down, astronauts had to power down all but the bare essentials so they wouldn't overtax the remaining system. Initial tests show the new pump is working. Houston, you got yourself a new pump module. We'll be able to get everything powered back on inside, all of the experiments back up and running, be a nice Christmas present for, uh, for everyone. Jim, the astronauts will begin to repower the entire system this evening. It will take a couple of days before all of the operations are completely recovered. Bill Whitaker, thank you very much.